YouTube. This is your host, Terry Jones with Eclipse Entertainment Presents. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about plate carries. These are gonna be like a three-part series. I'm gonna get into the plate carries, the leg drops, and holsters and stuff like that along those lines throughout the weeks. But as of today, we're gonna be talking about the plate carrier, what type of plates I like to keep in my plate carrier, uh, what essentials that I keep in my plate carrier, such as radios and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you cheap radio loadouts and stuff along those lines. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in with the plates first. A lot of people, I would advise you uh, in this day and age, what's going on around the world or what's especially going on within this country. Uh, we have cities going down in turmoil and being burnt. Uh, we have people being arrested for protecting their homes and stuff along those lines. And we have a lot of people gunning and gearing up for some, maybe some scary times coming in our near future, hopefully late future, I hope it never happens. But I would advise you to buy some kind of protection. I mean, you can buy your guns and ammo and learn how to use that stuff and everything, but you're still gonna need your shield. Just like back in the days, the guys had their swords and their shields, you're gonna need your shield too. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you a, a rundown on what type of place that you can put in your plate carrier, but I would highly recommend if you're gonna put plates into your plate carrier, get something that can take a 308 round, a 556 round, or something along those lines. Now you do have a soft body armor like this. If this is all you can get at the time, because a lot of this stuff is hard to find these days, uh, then something's better than nothing. But I would highly recommend that you get some type of plates. Now, uh, <clears throat> I have uh, flat plates like this right here. I mean, I don't know if people still use these. I don't recommend putting these in my plate carriers. These are not uh, too comfortable in my opinion. They're just flat, they just sit on the outside like so. Uh, but you can get these if you choose to. Now, what I would recommend is the Shooter Cuts plates. Uh, like this, it kind of like has a little cutoff so you can dry your fire on like so and you can still be kind of comfortable. Some people still find this to be a bit uncomfortable and they want to go with the uh, a swimmer's cut type uh, plate carrier that has a little bit more cut off on the angles. I on the other hand would like the shooter's cut because although it's pretty much the same size, uh, you still have a little bit more protection with the shooter's cut uh, than you do with the swimmer's cut. And I'm not going to give up my protection for a little bit of added comfort to shoot. Although it does feel pretty darn natural to shoot like this and it'd probably be easier for you to get your uh, your butt stock of your rifle into the shoulder pocket and get a, a better shot, in my opinion, if you do use this. But like I said, I can train and get better with the shooter's cut, uh, then, and, and I would just leave this uh, stored away somewhere else. Because I, like I said, I want that extra protection, just in case if a bullet did hit me there, I, you know, I'm good to go. But that being said, uh, those are just a few plates that you can uh, put into your uh, plate carrier. Like I said, I recommend something that can take a heavier round. Now you have like a little pad right here. So if you do get hit with a bullet and you do got some kind of indention on the back of your plates, it's gonna absorb some of that shot and uh, not hit you too hard. All right, this right here is my plate carrier. I'm just gonna get into the radio right now. Uh, we'll dive into some of this other stuff some other time. But as of right now, we're gonna talk about the radios. It's a must has especially if you're gonna be uh, working within your community. Uh, if your community is in turmoil or something like that, like we see on TV, uh, you have a way that you can uh, radio uh, with your team or whatnot there to see what's going on in their position to make sure everything's all right. You don't have to be uh, wasting gas trying to drive to somebody or running to somebody, wasting your energy and stuff along those lines. I mean, you can just radio it in and it's, everything's clear. And not to mention, I almost forgot, you're gonna need a watch. You wanna make sure all of you guys have a watch, something that's durable like a G-Shock or something with a 10 year battery life and water resistant or waterproof. Uh, that way you guys can be on the same time to the very second. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna be talking about the uh, the radio setup that I have here. It's actually very inexpensive to get one of these. It's a Bayofan UV5R. I got the uh, uh, Abri extended cable so I can get it to my back to the Abri antenna right here so I can get uh, a better frequency just in case I get too far away from my crew or my unit or whoever I'm working with at the time. Uh, we can still get communications from a very long distance because the standard uh, radio antennas like you see here will not give you the best range. Uh, but that being said, when you take these off and you put the big Avery antenna onto your radio, just keep these in your uh, back uh, pouch. I have my tight pool pouch right here on the back of mine. Uh, just for backup, just in case you ever damage this one, you still have some way of communicating with your crew and stuff like that along those lines. And you also wanna have an extra battery uh, for your UV5R that's already charged, just in case this one dies uh, when you're out and about. <clears throat> Now I'm just gonna take it to the table and I'm gonna uh, dive into the essentials of the price and how I hooked it up. And I'm gonna show you uh, one of my Century plate carriers, how I have it set up on there. This right, this plate carrier right here is the Operator Condor 2 plate carrier. Uh, so uh, you can see how this one's set up right here. I'm just gonna give you some close-ups of this one too as we go throughout the video. Uh, so stay tuned for more. All right, what you can see right here on the table is uh, the necessities that I use uh, when I put my radio kit together and my communications and how I keep in contact with everybody within my unit. Uh, so as you can see, we have an Abri antenna right here. Uh, this comes with two for the price of $19.99, which is very cheap. 
And then right here you have the extended cable for $8.50. This is, uh, I believe it's 23 inches, 23.6 inches. You got your Condor pouch for $8.95. You got your Bayo UV5R. You can find these prices. They vary no matter where you get them from. This is $27 right here. Uh, uh, zip ties is definitely one of my favorite things to keep with me. I keep these in my tie pool kits all the time. Uh, you can use these for a multitude of things. So I, I would advise you to keep a lot of these on you at all times. Uh, this right here is my backup battery. This battery costs $10.99. And this right here is the headset. Uh, it has the push to talk and everything you need on it. I'm gonna put all this stuff up on the screen where I got it from and I'm gonna show you how I have it hooked up on all my uh, plate carriers and whatnot there. Uh, this is just like one of those clear things where you stick it into your ear and it works just fine. It was five for 25, so you get five of these sets for $25. So you will have a backups for a very low price. And it's, like, it's very inexpensive. Unlike the other ones that you have at this point in time that cost like 300 bucks for the, uh, the uh, headphones. <clears throat> I will be doing a video on those shortly, uh, but at, the, at, at this moment in time, I want to get uh, to the cheap stuff because a lot of people are not prepared out there. Some people got prepared late and uh, they don't know if they need to get food, plate carriers, guns, ammo, and they're already going to have to get all this stuff at the same time. So I'm just trying to give you low price options where you can still be uh, effective uh, when you need to be. All right, so now you see what I have on the table right here for you. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I have it hooked up on the plate carrier. All right, as you can see, we have that uh, Condor pouch right here. Uh, this is for your ham radio. You're just going to take this antenna off, put it in right there. And you're just gonna put this uh, piece right there into the ham radio screw it in nice and tight make sure it's how it needs to be in there and as you can see we got this push to talk piece right here uh, we just have it running up uh, the side of the uh, plate carrier I'm gonna get you close up here in a second I got it going through the strap right here like so underneath that and I have the antenna going through uh, underneath the strap like so and uh, as you can see I lead it all the way to the back of the uh, plate carrier and I use zip ties it, I secure it in a place like so it's hiding behind this uh, tight pool water bladder and uh, <clears throat> as you can see the antennas right here and then I just keep the uh, I keep uh, the uh, earpiece behind here so whenever I need to get it I can just pull it out bring it up to my neck like so and plug it into my ear cut the radio on and I'm ready to go I don't have to take anything off everything is ready to go on the plate carrier as I need it <clears throat> Now, as you can see, I'm going to get you close up here right now so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to show you uh, my Condor Operator 2 plate carrier and how I have it set up on mine. Because this right here is a Sentry plate carrier, so I keep it down here. I can't really put the radio up on my uh, left arm strap like I have on the Operator 2 plate carrier by Condor. Uh, so I put it down here and I just run the radio differently. But all in all, it all works just fine and you can communicate and it sounds good. And as you can see, I have the cables running through the uh, uh, strap right here. I have the zip tie right there keeping the cables uh, in like one area like so. And then here I have the uh, headset. Like I said, I keep it back here like that. I bring it up to my ear when I need it. It has a little clip right here that I put on that molly back there like so. And then as you can see, I run it through the back, the cable, the extended cable to the antenna and I zip tie it like X wise and it holds it nice and tight in place. And that's how my antenna setup looks right there. All right, as you can see, I have my, uh, my uh, Beofan UV5R right here inside of this pouch. This is the Condor uh, radio pouch. As you can see, uh, it sits in here perfect, just fine, nice and tight. Uh, the Beofan UV5R radio is not waterproof, it's water resistant, which is why I chose to put it in this pouch. It gives you a little added protection. And like I said, this video is for a lower radio setup, a lower price of radio setup. If you want to pay the extra money for the uh, waterproof radio, you can go ahead and do so if you can afford that. Uh, I'm just showing you a cheaper way that you can go ahead and get that stuff done. Now, as you can see, I have this stuff tied up and looped up so I can get that cable management and zip tie like so. And I won't be getting caught up and snagged on things like that. And just like the Sentry Plate Carrier, I have it going through uh, my strap like so, all the way to the back. Uh, to the apron antenna where I have the zip tie in an X-like formation to keep the antenna uh, nice and tight from moving and wiggling and stuff like that. And you won't have to worry about your antenna getting snagged and caught and broke on things like that because it's actually very durable. As you can see, I can bend it, flip it, and fold it all types of ways and it's gonna work just fine. It's built for that, so that's another plus for this antenna. You can just run and get your job done without having to worry about that thing breaking on the easy. <clears throat> But all that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and take you out to a wide angle so you can get a better look at the uh, plate carrier. I'm just going to do a few 360 degrees turns, and I'm just going to go ahead and close this video up for you guys. All right, now as you can see, uh, I'm doing you to give you the close up. I'm going to just go ahead and do a 360 turn for you. As you can see, I have my earpiece in. It kind of moves with me and stuff along those lines. Like I showed you, it's got the clip all the way back here and bringing it up to my earpiece like so. 
So it's not gonna come out, it's not gonna fall out. You can see the antenna back there, everything looks pretty good. This is how the setup works for me. I think it's very comfortable. I feel uh, like none of this stuff's gonna fall off me. I can jump, run, climb, bang up and things, and I'm good to go. Now I did forget to mention this. If you can afford a helmet, you should buy a helmet too as well. They're only from, you can buy them used from like 50 bucks to about 240 bucks brand new. Uh, this right here is a PSA GT helmet or PSGT helmet. Something like that along those lines, I keep forgetting. Or you can buy the Mitch. This right here is a size medium for my medium head. Uh, you just gotta know your size when you buy the helmet and you'll be good to go. I have a medium head. You just clip it on like so and you're ready to go with that added protection. And when you purchase stuff like this, you do not just wanna just buy it and then leave it up in your closet. Like I always say, you wanna put this stuff on, you wanna train with it, you wanna walk around your house. Your wife may look at you crazy like you're some type of weirdo, but uh, you wanna get comfortable with this stuff because uh, if you're not working out, you're not staying in shape and stuff like that, and you put this stuff on, when a crisis does happen, you're gonna freaking panic. This stuff is gonna wear you down. You're gonna start hyperventilating. Your shoulders are definitely gonna start hurting, which is why I would advise you to buy a battle belt, which will be coming next week. I'll be doing a review on a battle belt the condor battle belt uh, <clears throat> after this video but as you can see this is how the loadout looks and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and close that video up with this uh, view right here but all that being said I'd just like to thank you guys for watching the clips entertainment presents where we bring you entertainment news reviews with the kick till next time God bless